What's going on everybody? It, uh, we are back out in the shop again today. Not at the racetrack, we'll not be at the racetrack on this weekend. Uh, we are just out in the shop uh, finishing up some of the th stuff we have to get done before we go to the racetrack next weekend. So um, right now, just we've uh, been kind of cleaning up, getting a few things ready for the race car. Um, we got some t uh, a few sets of practice tires um, that we've been playing with the past week. Um, we um, did a lot of work. We went to Lane Automotive yesterday uh, on Friday and picked up some parts. And then uh, we've been out here already today. It's about noon right now. I'm getting to work. It's a little it's a little chilly today. Um, it's supposed to only get to the, the high 50s and we're obviously in the shade of the barn it is it is still chilly but anyway got to get the uh we got the cutlass out of the bag down on the ground um i got it fired up yesterday drove it around the neighborhood got it running so we got to pull this out just got the lawnmower out but i as you can see this is the last thing we got to do so uh, i need to get in here and uh move it out So now we back on the bottom. Now we got some room to work with. Oh yeah, okay. So still got a few things to move around, but as you see here, we've been working on getting our shocks put back together. Yeah, we uh, we made sure. We cleaned up everything. We just pulled them apart. Had the shocks down in the basement all, all winter, and then we were, uh, we got the bearings that we just uh, re WD forty cleaned up. So we got a uh, father's ready to go. Uh, we already got uh, three of them made. This is the last one we got to do. See here on the back wall. Already got them made up. And our shock machine. So, boom, quickly done it. Sliding our other wheels on so now we can test them by hooking the eye to eyes up on here to test the shocks. So, we'll get to that in a little bit. I don't think we can do that right now, but. We'll just show what's starting. Oh, yeah. We'll just show everything. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a simple yet different process. Um, when it comes to putting shocks together and then um, checking them, make sure that you have the right loads. So just because we took them apart, we're obviously going to have to check them to make sure we, they're put back and exactly where they were. Um, j just so we're on the same baseline we were last year. So yeah, basically, as you can see here, shot gets put on, kind of mounted up just like it would on the car. And you have this hydraulic ram. That you pump up. Yeah, eye to eye and yeah. bondage. So we have some different gauges. We have a, a measurement gauge that has the what we call the eye to eye on the shock, so the, the the length of it. Then the poundage that's being produced. Then we also have some other measuring tools to see how far we're into the bump. Yeah. So then we have our bump bump spring. So then we use these ones to measure how far in how much we're compressing that little spring in there that's in the black you can't see it but so we we got to play with that that's something that we're excited because we didn't have the shock machine last year we bought that right at the end of the year so we haven't got to actually use it when we're racing yet we've played with it um but but not actually um during the season and we also got scales below it so we're looking forward to being able to use these tools i think it will definitely help us be able to gather more notes and uh, hopefully be able to see what we're doing wrong and, and you know, make the car better in the future. So got those done. So that's a, a step towards once we bring the car in here, um, we can we can get going. on. All right, so now up in the house garage, um, I think we're gonna move the car right now um, over to the barn. Uh, we got a few little things we gotta work on and it's all up front here. Uh, we're gonna put, 
new wear strip on where I got the grill out we're painting it and then I gotta I'm gonna put in new stickers on I I experimented with these ones I saw a few cars that had them these are the uh I believe these were the road Mustang stickers that five star makes just to do something a little different um just didn't turn out the way I I like the the grill isn't made for these cars so I had to cut it and that just didn't go great so got some different ones I got the more standard ones that you see everybody run I think those look better so yeah I got a little bit of work to do here um but I think we'll just get it up into the in the barn it's warm enough it'll stay warm so just get over there just it gives us more space we're, we're, we're trying to work it right now um obviously it's war kind of warming up where we could have this opened up but I'd rather just be in the barn I'm gonna work it on it there's just not enough space here so I think we're gonna get down we uh had I don't know if I mentioned my last video the carburetor was starting to go get all wonky on us we checked the uh needle and what is it hot Needle yeah needle and seat and yeah and it had uh had some i don't know if it was a i don't know what it was it was just a little piece of something, something. and it was it was catching up so the float bowl was overfilling and the, it was not running right unfortunately we lost a pair of spark plugs in the process of figuring that out we were seeing the you know black coming out of the exhaust but got that resolved so we should be good now hopefully that issue is gone we'll fire it up later um, here in a minute when we're trying to well I could we blood the clutch so I can now fire it up and and back it in there so we'll do that make sure everything runs right there and then we'll uh, finish working on this nose and get that all set because otherwise we're ready to go um I think we want to bleed the brakes we didn't unhook anything so they shouldn't have air in them but just to check make sure put a little fresh fluid in them won't hurt so we'll do that here in a minute <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, as you can see here, got the stickers peeled off, got the wear strips off. We're uh, the right side wear strip, it got wore down a little bit, and um, just we're not putting a new nose on right now. Um, this nose is in good shape. We have a few holes. We used to put the winch um, little guide that we put in here, we pull from the bumper instead of having to run the strap all the way underneath the car to here. So we have like a a hole that has nothing in it a few scratches and then um where i ended up getting hit last year has this cut right here um you know it's kind of being picky but we just want the stuff to look good um so we got a new nose but we're not going to put it on right away just because last year we um we had this nose i don't think i could get it on camera it's rotated where the um the bottom of it like where, where it meets the racetrack is actually up a little too high like it's it's weird to describe so it wears um it wears really badly right here so we end up tearing through wear strips so we're just going to put a new one on um that's white because that's where that's the color our you know we want to kind of clean up the front of the car um so we're going to use a white one and we're going to try and figure out what we need to do so in a few weeks we'll put that new nose on and hopefully we'll get it right and get it right where we want it uh, we also got like a new hood pin bar and a bunch of stuff to try and clean up the front end and, and make it better so as of right now i'm gonna get these uh washers that hold the uh plate or the uh wear strip painted as you can see they get dinged up so i'm just gonna probably put them in a in a uh glass of acetone to melt the paint off that we currently have on and then we'll repaint them 
And then I'll get, it. I don't know um, if there's anybody out there that's racing that doesn't know how to clean the plastic off on these nose pieces. I found that a soft scrub works really well. Um, I'll, I'll show you, um, I'll probably have to take some acetone to where the stickers were. Um, might be able to see a little bit of the sticky residue. But as far as like the, the not fading, but just how the dirt, how you can see how much whiter where the sticker was to here, I guarantee you by the time when I'm done using the soft scrub, it will it will go back to white. Um, I did that with the rear bumper cover that I put on this winter and it, it came out like brand new. It had some streaks in it. So he was the he was soft scrub. That's a hack that I found. Um, it has like the grittiness in it that uh, helps get through that stuff. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then my dad is over here. Um, he is putting in new hood pins with with uh, the the wires so that way they don't fall off the hood or you don't drop them and things like that so uh, we're going to end up getting a new hood like i think i've mentioned in the previous videos but we're going to make this one work to start they, they don't have any in stock at lane right now so we're going to run with this hood um, until they they have one in stock that way um we have a hood right but we're going to put these hood pins on just to try them out um so yeah that's what we got going on right now. so here you go as you can see here, they're uh, crimped on both ends. So yeah, we've never used these hood pins before, but we'll see. So now let's, yep, there we go. So Yeah, there. So yeah, just little things, little details we're trying to clean up today, basically. Uh, and like, yeah, like I said, just clean the front up. So. We'll go on another time lapse while I uh, scrub that down and uh, we get these hood pins done. Alrighty, see that from the time lapse, got everything going. Uh, hood is almost done. That stuff, and we got the nose. I, I was gonna do one half at a time, but I ended up just doing it all to kind of show. But I, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but you can't even tell where the sticker was, where the dirt was. Um, maybe you can see. Maybe the camera's picking it up a little bit down there, but it from from my eye, you really got to look for it. So. A lot wider, um, kind of where some of the uh, where some of the rocks hit it and whatnot. Kind of barely chips up the plastic a little bit, and you, you can't really get that out. And some of the the deeper rubber marks, um, you can't either. But otherwise, that stuff does a great job cleaning that up. So now uh, going to be on to putting the, the grill in. We, my dad decided that he wanted to paint it white. I don't think that's a good idea. So we're going to put it on and probably take it back off right away because I don't think it's going to look good, but he wanted to do it anyway. So we're going to put that on, put the wear strip on, get the, get the stickers on, get this front end wrapped up with the hood, and then we'll be good to go there. And then we'll start working on the setup stuff. Alrighty, it's the next day. I um, kind of lost track of time yesterday and ended up going in to watch. Yeah, the Cars Tour on. Um, the Bristol races were going on and then the Xfinity Martinsville race. So there's a lot of races to bounce between. We ended up going in watching all those um, bounce back and forth. And uh, so got up this morning once again, didn't pick up the camera right away. Just wanted to get right to work and got stickers put on and the wear strips all done, tidied up. Got the grill in, which, which we are going to paint black. It just... This guy's uh, idea just it just doesn't it just doesn't look great doesn't doesn't match in there very well so anyway we're gonna pull that out paint it um, got all the shocks um, tested ready to go put on the car uh, we got the the pro shocks which we're we're just using as like we were just using those to move the car around, things like that, because the, the ride height sticks don't seem to work very well because there's no suspension. So the car kind of 
bounces around or when you're, yeah, just doesn't work well. So we got those shocks on it that help, but we got our actual race shock set up now. So we'll be closer to getting set up. I've got to check timing today. Uh, with, for some reason, our timing gun hasn't been working. So borrowing Stovall's gun. So hopefully we can get that all set up. And anyway, almost, almost done with the work we had planned for this weekend. Um, so. So here in the sum we've done the past few years just to help with our weekly processes is we got this whiteboard with, um, we'll have a bunch of different notes on it um, and we'll write down any extra stuff we need to do. But like, as you can see here, I put stickers on here. So nut and bolt, clean the car, standard stuff to do every week. Then we just check all our fluids, check timing, uh, fill the car up with fuel, you know, just all these check, you know, set up stuff. Uh, make sure I have the right visor on for when I show up to the track. Um, you know, just a lot of cleaning and maintenance stuff on here. So we're basically getting ready to go over this list. So that's when you know you're you're getting ready to go to the racetrack. And um, we've most of this can be checked off. Um, just with when we're putting the car together, we we end up doing most of that stuff. But there's still we just want to go through and check all that. That's all like the basics of making sure everything's maintenance right and that everything's going to be good to go um let alone the setup stuff that we're just going to check over we're not changing anything um and everything it should be left the way it was when we came off the track at berlin so we shouldn't have much to change but anyways you know we're going to go over everything once again just to make sure we're completely ready to go so um didn't really record much after that but we got everything done got the Stickers on, got the uh, grill painted black, as you can see now. So I'm all set there. Wear strip on, just put the hood on it here for a minute with our hood pins with the wire. Oh, so yeah, there we are. All our, I guess you could call it uh, cosmetic stuff is finished. So all we got to do now is work on the um, tasks on the whiteboard that I showed um, to get done, be ready to go. Yeah, like, like I said, we had the, got the shocks done. They're ready to be put on and so scale and all that. Uh, we're gonna play with the tires a little bit more to kind of get them where we want them. We're trying to like stretch them and learn how to work with them. So uh, we're ready to go practice on um, this coming weekend. So um, have a good weather week ahead of us to be able to come out here and finish all that uh, stuff up. So we're looking forward to that. Um, just want to say thank you guys for watching. And um, as the season approaches, I haven't really mentioned, I'm not a fan of saying like and subscribe, but if you really want to watch us go through our season as we're going to try and get better, I don't expect much from the start of the season, but it's going to be a development throughout the season. So if you want to see the process, I'm going to try and continue to in these videos, hopefully a little bit more as we keep going to just kind of show a little bit more on certain things to kind of be more um, to inform more about kind of how things work on the car and um, things like that. So if you want to watch how our season progresses, I'm going to do some different um, kind of I have some different ideas for how to go about it. Um, the videos I'm going to make throughout the season, I'm um, just yeah, subscribe um, so you can uh, follow along and see how this journey of this season goes and into the future. So once again, just want to say thank you for watching and we will see you guys um, more than likely at the racetrack.